Hello, American Rod Shop family. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of American Rod Shop. And in tonight's episode, I found for you 10 classic cars that are dream cars. Now, I kind of went to the other end of the spectrum on the price range. Can the average Joe afford these? Maybe, maybe not. But they're great to look at, great to discuss, great to chat about, and great to check out. And that's what we're going to do in this video. Now, one thing we're going to definitely be doing is revealing who won that beautiful little Matchbox 1934 Chevy Masters Deluxe Coupe that we gave away in the last video. Plus, later on the video, we'll reveal another prize for this week's video that we will draw for in the next upcoming video. Stay tuned for details on that. Now, if you see any cars in these videos that you would like to check on, the information is over in this video's description. All you have to do is click on the word more right there in the title area. Once you do that, it will bring up the description. Then just scroll down till you see the car listed that you're interested in. Click on the link underneath that listing. At that point, it may ask you which server you want to open up with. Just choose the one that you normally use. Then it will take you straight to the ad where that car is at for sale. Unless that car is already sold, then it'll say that ad is no longer available. Now let's take a look at number one. This one is a car that just about everybody dreams about owning one day. 1963 Chevrolet Classic Nova SS listed in Bellevue, Nebraska for $20,000. Up for sale by the second owner is this classic red 1963 Chevy Nova that has been driven for 75,000 miles and comes with a clean title. The car has a mildly built 327 engine and a two-speed automatic transmission. It runs great, drives great, runs very smoothly, and will take you to your destination in a classic 1963 style. The original black interior looks amazing and is very comfortable. The brake system is new and functional with a drum brake setup that works exceptionally well. The car needs very little maintenance and is ready to hit the road. It has newer 14-inch American racing wheels and fresh rubber on them. This car is solid, with its original body still in excellent condition, asking $20,000 or best offer, and the owner is willing to trade for a like-kind classic car, such as a square body Chevy or a Bronco. So guys, if you got either one of those to trade, you could possibly work a deal with this gentleman for this 1963 Chevrolet Classic Nova SS. And if you haven't found your dream car yet, be sure to check out some of these other videos that we have posted. You just might find it in one of those, especially this last one. Had a couple of rare cars in that video that were very affordable. Check it out, guys. Let's move on to number two. And this next one seems to be a fan favorite whenever I post one. So let's check it out. 1965 Dodge A100 pickup listed in Davenport, Iowa for $25,000. For sale is this beautiful crowd pleaser, which is a red, hard to find 1965 Dodge A100 pickup. It is a very solid truck that has had a full custom job performed upon it, which includes a beautiful red paint with ghost flames, a full custom black interior, power windows, fully electric push button doors, an electric lift bed cover, air conditioning and heat, suicide doors, and an electric lift gate. It is powered by a rebuilt 360 Dodge engine that has been bored to 40 over. That is linked up to an automatic transmission and a 323 rear end. It also has a new carburetor, a new fuel pump, and cherry bomb mufflers that give it that awesome deep throaty sound. It has only been driven 13,000 miles since being built and is garage kept daily. This little red truck is ready to go and will take you anywhere you want to go. The seller is asking $25,000 or best offer. Serious inquires only, please, for this custom 1965 Dodge A100 pickup. And guys, I believe this one really is a crowd pleaser. Okay, let's see how well you can do on our first of three trivia questions for tonight's video. This first one is, what car company associated itself with baseball, hot dogs, and apple pie? If you know the answer, drop it in the comments for fun. At the end of the video, we're going to check all these answers out and see who got what right. 
Let's look at number three. And have you ever dreamed about owning a street legal 55 gasser? Well, this next one up is one of those. 1955 Chevrolet two-door gasser listed in Downers Grove, Illinois for $55,000. Up for sale is this black street legal 1955 Chevy two-door post gasser that has overall been giving the throwback look of the retro vintage nostalgia drag gassers from the 60s and 70s. This car's setup features your typical straight axle gasser powered by a Chevy 283 engine with a four-speed manual transmission. This 55 sports the traditional tilt nose with fender well headers and a paint and decal theme that really sets this car into that time period. All solid with no rust, and this is an original California car built with period parts. It is street legal and with a clean title. The seller's asking 55,000 or best offer and is shown by appointment only and no trades. Now, suicide doors were popular on such vintage cars as the 1934 Ford and the 64 Lincoln Continental, but the safety department eventually ruled those out of production. Now, the trivia question is this. In what year were full-size suicide doors reintroduced as an option for modern cars? And I'm not talking about those little half doors that you see on truck cabs, so forth like that. That's not a full-size door. Drop your answer in the comments for fun, and we'll see what everybody's got to say about this one. The GOAT, the greatest of all time. This car definitely is that one. At number four, it's a 1967 Pontiac GTO Coupe listed in Marcus, Iowa for $32,000. Up for sale is the GOAT, the greatest of all time, a burgundy 1967 Pontiac GTO that is being sold by the original owner. This car has been driven just over 100,000 miles and has been meticulously maintained and garaged kept. This is a great head-turning daily driver that can be restored or driven as is. This beauty is powered by 400 big block with an automatic transmission and it runs and drives great. The body is in good shape and the paint still displays nicely. The original black interior is complete and looks nice except for one small tear on the edge of the driver's seat. The car has new American racing rims, and everything electrical works as it should, with all the glass being good as well. This car comes with an extra 400 motor from another 1966 GTO, if you should need it for parts, asking 32000 or best offer, and it comes with a clean title. Hey, and if you like this channel, be sure to like, subscribe, and share don't forget to turn on that notification bell. You want to get notified when these videos drop so that you can have the earliest access possible to try and catch these cars that's up for sale before they get gone. Number five is one of the best tribute cars I have ever seen. 1967 Chevrolet Camara SS tribute car listed in Florence, Alabama for $42,250. Up for sale in excellent condition with a clean title is a very nice red 1967 Chevrolet Camara SS tribute car. It is powered by a 350 V8 Chevy engine with an original 102,483 miles on it. And it's a new rebuilt turbo shifter 1970 Chevelle transmission hooked up to the motor. It was repainted in 2012 and given the custom SS tribute look along with a new custom black interior. This is a solid car that has been well maintained and has all service records on the engine to go with it. Parts replaced with new items include the following. New serpentine belt system, a four flow aluminum radiator, new chrome brake booster, new upgraded radio, new Timmy front seats, new brake lines, and a new high gear 248 rear end. Also added were new gauges, a new easy wire electrical system, new Cooper radial GT tires, new SS decals, new tail lights, new headlights, and new 15 inch wheel crafters. This is a car that is ready to go or show, asking $42,250 or best offer for this 1967 Chevrolet Camara SS tribute car. 
And guys, this is a really nice tribute car to the Camara SS. If you know a viewer that is a fan of the show and you're looking for a great birthday gift to give them, I invite you to check out the American Rod Shop store. You can find the link to the store over in the video's description. And in the store, you'll find great t-shirts, hoodies, mouse pads, coffee mugs, posters, and much, much more. All make great gift items. And the sale of these items goes back in to support this channel. You've heard the story of the caterpillar changing over into a beautiful butterfly. This next car exemplifies that. 1966 Ford Mustang Fastback Conversion. Listed in Port St. Lucie, Florida for $29,999. Up for sale is this black 1966 Ford Mustang Fastback that is a conversion car. This is a Mustang that started life out as a coupe and was converted over to a Fastback. You cannot tell this unless you open the door and look at that three digit code. This car is powered by a built high performance 302 engine with a C4 automatic transmission with a B&M shifter. Only 1100 miles have been driven on it since it was built. This engine features Bronx aluminum heads, an Edelbrock Victor Jr. intake, a MSD 6AL ignition, a new aluminum radiator, new battery, and a nice sounding cam that resonates through dual exhaust with Flowmasters. This is a nice running and driving car that is of driver quality. It rolls on new 5 lug Riddler 675 chrome wheels mounted with 15 inch new tires. The interior has a pony package and looks fantastic and it sports a factory wood steering wheel. The power front disc brakes rounds out the package. The car was painted about 10 years ago but still displays very nicely although it could probably use a paint job if desired. It's a conversion yes but in the end you'll still be driving one heck of a fastback for only $29,000 nine hundred and ninety nine dollars firm and guys i've never seen someone take a coupe and change it to a fastback but this one is amazing for the money okay let's see how y'all are at getting this third and final question what car maker was named for an ottawa chief who led an alliance of tribes against the british in the 18th century if you know that answer drop it in the comments for fun and we're about to check all of these at the end of this video number seven is going to be another nova ss but it's nothing like that first one 1965 chevrolet nova chevy 2 ss listed in deland florida for fifty four thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars Up for sale is this beautiful orange 1965 Chevy Nova 2 drag car that is ready for drag or show. This is a 20-year father and son project car that is powered by an 802 horsepower 430 cubic inch all aluminum SBC built by world-renowned Curry Racing Engines that has 18 degrees Brodick heads, Dyer's rods, Isky Roller rev kit, gear drive cam with 15 to 1 compression, lemons fender well headers, a Crower tank, and Holly EFI controls over Kinsler injection with two sets of stacks. The black racing interior features an 8.50 cage with fresh certification and a new 10 pound Stroud fire system. It also features a Stroud chute, a four link rear Moser 9 inch with Daytona pinion, and Moser axles. Way more items than can be listed here. This is one very fast, beautiful drag car, 
that is a consistent winner at the strip, asking $54,750 for this 1965 Chevrolet Nova drag car or best offer. Okay, let's pause right here and find out who won the little matchbox car, the 1934 Chevy Master Deluxe Coupe. Kind of hard one to find that we gave away in last week's video. Right now we're going to go over to YouTubeCommentPicker.com, put in the URL code for the video, and then select Pick a Random Comment. Michael Kramer. Congratulations, Michael Kramer. You've won the little matchbox car. Now all you got to do is contact me in the next seven business days, and I'll send you details on how to collect your car. Now, number eight is probably my personal favorite of the group tonight, and that's only because I used to own one of these in a four-door hardtop. 1957 Pontiac Star Chief two-door hardtop, listed in Nashville, Illinois, for $31,990. Check out this awesome, hard-to-find beige 1957 Pontiac Star Chief two-door hardtop that is up for sale and has an original 20,634 miles on it. The Pontiac Star Chief is an automobile model which was manufactured by Pontiac between 1954 and 1966 with around 32,000 hardtops above two-door and four-door hardtops being built that year. This car is being sold by a dealership and is in fantastic condition. It has a strong running Pontiac V8 with an automatic transmission and is a very solid car that runs and drives like a dream. It has been upgraded with vintage AC, tilt steering wheel, custom chrome five-spoke mag wheels, a super nice beige paint job, and a wicked throaty sounding dual exhaust. It has a brand new custom white interior that looks amazing and a custom made trunk interior that reflects the outside quarter panels. If you are looking to buy a classic 1957 Pontiac Star Chief, then this is the one for you. Asking $31,990 for best offer. And hey guys, just a buyer's hint. Whenever you see a classic car for sale at a car dealership, the price is always usually negotiable. Sometimes they'll take trade-ins on them and you can get them financed as well. Just keep that in mind when you see these old cars at any dealership. Okay, tonight's giveaway is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be this beautiful Dodge Challenger sign. It is embossed, or as some say, stamped. The raised lettering, the word Dodge and Challenger is both raised up from the sign. It's about 13 inches across, and it's metal, not tin. So if you want an opportunity to win this, look great on anybody's man cave, all you've got to do is three things, and you'll be entered in as an opportunity to be able to win this sign. First of all, you need to be a subscriber, so if you're not subscribed, go ahead and do that. Secondary, drop the word Dodge in the comments, and then enter in as many times as you would like. Every entry gives you an opportunity to win. And we will draw for this beauty in the next upcoming video. Now, keeping with the 57 era, let's look at this next black beauty. 1957 Ford Thunderbird. Listed in Addison, Illinois, for $36,250. Up for sale by its second owner is a numbers-matching gloss black 1957 Ford Thunderbird convertible hardtop that has been driven an original 43,251 miles. It is powered by 312 cubic inch V8 engine with matching numbers along with a numbers-matching automatic transmission. The beautiful two-tone black and white interior is amazing and very comfortable. This car features power disc brakes, fully functional gauges, a removable hardtop, and is a factory F-code car, pretty much original the way it came out of the factory with just one paint job many years ago. This car is stunning and an absolute eye catcher. This car drives out amazingly, handles perfectly, and stops wonderfully. Garage kept and well maintained on this car, you will not be disappointed. Asking $36,250 or best offer, and it comes with a clean title. Okay, about to come to the last car, but at the end of this video, if you would, drop in the comments what was your favorite car in this video and why. Like I said before, I always get a kick out of reading everyone's responses and their stories. A lot of the viewers do as well. 
Okay, I wanted to pause right here for a little bit and do some subscriber drag racing. It's going to be something new. Going to try each video. If you're interested, just drop in the comments, race me, and in the next video, I'll choose two more subscribers to do the drag race. And in tonight's video, I've got my two good friends from the chat. This Pappy and Chief Mac will be racing against each other tonight. Pappy will be racing his 1957 Pontiac Star Chief drag car against Chief Mac, who will be racing his 1955 Chevrolet 210 drag car. And we'll see who wins what. On the inside lane in the 1955 Chevrolet, we've got Chief Mac. And on the far lane in the 1957 Pontiac Star Chief, we've got Pappy. Pappy's heating up his tires there, looking pretty good with the burnout on that side. We've also got Chief Mac doing an impressive burnout on his 55 as well. We're going to get both these cars backed up to the line to get them started. We'll do a head to head racing here on this vintage car racing network. Get these guys lined up as close as possible. A little bit close there, easing them up. I think they are good and set to go. Let's get started. Here we go. Oh, 55 does a little bit of a hula there. But he's in the lead, but Pappy is pulling up fast on the left hand side. Chief Mack dropped off there at the end, and Pappy is the winner. And there you have it. Pappy is our first winner ever of our weekly fantasy drag racing segment that we're going to get started. And Pappy, here's your trophy. Now, if you're interested in going head to head with another subscriber, just drop the comments, race me. In the comment sections and i'll pick two more subscribers go head to head in the next video thank you everyone for sticking around to this last car and up with number 10 is a 1936 ford two-door sedan listed in springtown texas twenty six thousand dollars up for sale is this beautiful dark blue 1936 ford two-door sedan street rod that runs and drives great and gets lots of compliments at any car show or cruise in. It is being sold by the original builder and has been driven only 2,154 miles since being built and it will take you anywhere you want to go. It is powered by a Ford 302 engine with a C4 automatic transmission linked up to a 9 inch rear end. The two-tone dark blue and tan custom interior really matches the glossy paint job and is quite comfortable. This car features the rare spare tire holder on the back that matches the body and color, and the five spoke chrome rims really add to the overall street rod look of this car. If you are looking for a great vehicle that has the beauty of a vintage one and the dependability of a modern one, then check this one out. It comes with a clean title, and the seller is asking $26,000 or best offer. Here are the three answers for the trivia questions. How many did you get? The car company that associated itself with baseball, hot dogs, and apple pie was Chevrolet. Number two. In 2022, you could actually order for the first time full-size suicide doors on models of Rolls-Royce and Lincoln Continental. The Indian chief in Ottawa that led a war alliance against the British and had a future car company named after him, was Pontiac. Okay, that wraps up another episode of American Rod Shop. I appreciate each and every one of you tuning in and viewing these videos each and every night that they drop. Thank you guys so much. I love each and every one of you. God bless each and every one of you, and I will see you in the next video.